Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Houston Mass Chester Mirror. In this video, I'm going to be explaining how to do bed mass using the abacus. So first of all, the, how, how do you do bed mass? Bed mass stands for brackets, exponents, division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. Now you might notice that I've grouped the addition, I've grouped the addition and subtraction, and I've grouped the division and multiplication. Let me explain that rule to you. When, group, when I've grouped these two, what I mean by that is it doesn't matter from left to right if division comes first or multiplication. Whichever one comes first, we would use that one. Even though it, division comes first in the order, it wouldn't matter because they're both grouped. They're like a family. It doesn't matter which one comes first left to right. It's just to say that this is the one that comes. It's the same that goes with addition and subtraction. Whichever one comes first from to left to right, it doesn't matter. We would do that one first. If subtraction came um, before addition, we would do subtraction first. They're both grouped. That does not occur with any of the others though. If addition comes before multiplication, then we would use we would do multiplication first in the order. And that does not occur with um, brackets and exponents. A lot of people think that brackets and exponents are also grouped. That's not true. They both are individual. Now, just as an overview, brackets means two things grouped together. Whatever's inside the bracket could be any of these should be done first. Exponents, meaning a number, for example, 7 and 2. This 2 on top is an exponent. It means 7 times 7. 7 times itself, 2 times. Okay? Division and multiplication are really simple. We've done that in the abacus. And addition and subtraction is our basic arithmetic. Let's do this bad mess question first. Here we know that our multiplication comes first. In our order, multiplication is first, before our addition and subtraction. So we would do this multiplication before the rest of them. Doing this on the abacus, we would do 6 times 2, then 9 times 2 on your abacus, following with 6 times 3, and 9 times 3. Our answer for this would be 1587. And we would carry down the question right underneath. We have our plus symbol here, so we know that our, after our multiplication, it should be added to the next equation. Now plus goes first, and after our adding, we subtract our 1653. This is really simple. You do it on the app because each and every day is practice. Our answer to this question, which we can all group as one because it's all either addition or subtraction as a basic um, formula, it would be... <laughs> 2279. Now let me explain. What if this question had brackets over these two numbers? So if we had 69 times 23 plus 2345, and instead these had a bracket, what would we do then? Of course, our brackets go before. Our division and multiplication so we would do this equation first 2345 minus 1653 once you've got your answer which I will use as X over here we would do this which we already know is 1587 add that to X and you would get your answer let's explain it on the abacus one time for the abacus, I'll use the first equation as my example. Of course, we're using our 69 times 23 as our first example. 69 times 23, 1, 2, 3, 4, we would start on this rod. After that, 6 times 2 equals to 12, 9 times 2 is 18, 6 times 3 is 15, and 9 times 3 is 27. 1587. That's how we got the answer. Now we would plus 2, 3, 4, 5, which is our next step over here, plus 
two, three, four, five. Simple addition. Subtraction, 16, 53. Subtract our thousand, 16, 50, three. It gives, it gives us the same answer, 2279. So remember when you're doing your bed mask questions, you should lay out a paper in front of you so that you can follow through the steps in hand before you move on just doing it on the abacus. It'll help you do it step by step before you rush into the question. Remember, brackets, then exponents, then division and multiplication. Division and multiplication are a group, so whichever comes from left to right first, you would do that. And then addition and subtraction. Addition and subtraction are also a group, so whichever comes from left to right before, you would do that first. Thank you for watching, and remember, you see my chest in the mirror.